Who would have thought that American Horror Story would have resulted in an off-screen romance? Well, for Emma Roberts and Evan Peters, that's precisely what happened. Although, keeping with the show's theme that they were working on, their relationship was pretty much a horror story in itself. From countless breakups, drama, and a messy love triangle, unfortunately for these two, despite how passionately they loved each other, they just couldn't make it work. I mean, she was hilarious and we just, we laughed a lot and had a great time. Don't forget to subscribe to Rumor Juice and hit that notification bell. We have all the Hollywood love stories you want to know about. Before we get into how things turned sour, let's take a look at how the pair first fell in love. Roberts revealed on Chelsea Lately that the pair met on the set of their movie, Adult World, in 2012. However, they didn't actually start dating until the filming for the movie had wrapped. By the beginning of 2013, Emma and Evan were Hollywood's it couple, and they were spotted together everywhere. They made their first public appearance together, walking the red carpet at an after-party for the 70th annual Golden Globes. Soon, the paparazzi couldn't get enough of them, and we all know the pops tend to get a little too close for comfort. Their romance is pretty extreme, revealed an insider close to the couple, adding that they just behave in a way that's very passionate. Unfortunately, not even a year into their relationship, the couple had their first stint with the cops, and believe us when we tell you, it wasn't pretty. One night, in the pair's Montreal hotel room, things got out of hand when the couple broke into a fight. The police were called to the scene and found Evan with a bloody nose and a bite mark. The officers immediately arrested Emma, and a close friend of hers revealed, Emma and Evan were hitting each other and she was arrested because he had obvious physical injuries. The timing couldn't have been worse for the actress. Only days after news of the fight and her arrest broke out, her interview with Nylon hit the stands. In her interview, she spoke about her public image, claiming that, A lot of people perceive me differently. Call it ironic, but the biggest plot twist was that she also spoke about making mistakes. Where she confessed, I can't say I'm never going to mess up, but if I do, I'll definitely be very sorry. While some would think being bitten and left with a bloody nose would have been enough for Evan to call it quits, he didn't. In fact, he didn't even press charges, and Emma was released just a few hours after being arrested. The couple seemed to sweep the fight under the rug, but perhaps it should have been a warning sign that things weren't going to get any better. However, following the couple's public fight, things seemed to turn around and start going really well. In December 2013, Evan asked Emma to marry him, and of course, she could not have been happier. The pair went public with a lavish engagement party, and everyone was relieved that they were finally in a good place. I can definitely feel like high strung sometimes in a relationship. I like to know what's going on. I like everything to be very clear. They remained engaged for around 18 months, which already raised a few eyebrows as to why they hadn't officially tied the knot yet. However, it seemed their engagement bubble had burst, and the couple called it quits. But then, get this, they ended up getting back together in August of 2016. So, what happened? Well, this is the part where things got a little messy and a little complicated, but just bear with us. In fact, there seemed to be some sort of love triangle going on. In September of 2017, news broke out that fellow A-list couple Rachel Bilson and Hayden Christensen had called it quits after 10 long years together. The reason? As a source exclusively revealed, that Roberts was at the center of their split. But how could Emma have been the cause of Rachel and Hayden's breakup if she was still with Evan? Well, as it turns out, the actress had allegedly gotten close to Christensen while they were on the set of their flick, Little Italy and Rachel reportedly found inappropriate texts between the two co-stars, causing her to pack her bags and leave Hayden immediately. Somehow, this still wasn't cause for Emma and Evan to call it quits on their own relationship. Some would have thought that a complicated love triangle would have been the final straw for the couple, and yet another insider revealed to Us Weekly the couple was still very much together. Unfortunately, the pair's relationship had now garnered itself a pretty toxic reputation in Hollywood. Breaking up and getting back together, splitting up another couple, and a physical altercation didn't seem to get in the way of their love for one another. But friends and family were starting to get worried for Emma and Evan because things between them seemed too rocky for their liking. There were other factors that could have contributed to the stress in their relationship. Starring an American Horror Story together could have been one of them. As Peters revealed on Entertainment Tonight, he would work on getting in the mindset of his creepy characters, 
adding that he dove into who they were, what they believed in, and what they were going for. You're sort of living the show as it's given to you in a way, you know, living your character because you're just kind of, I don't know, you think, I think you just have to know your character and then just sort of go with it. Throughout it all, Roberts was right by his side too. Emma was very cool and just sort of allowed me to be me and do my thing. However, by the time they already shot a few seasons of AHS together, the couple was allegedly driving the cast mad with their rocky relationship. An insider revealed the pair was either constantly kissing or fighting on set, adding that as soon as the director yells cut, Emma and Evan are making out. That is, if they're not screaming at each other. Emma also seemed to follow in the footsteps of her aunt, Julia Roberts, when it came to some alleged diva tendencies and people assumed it might be something that ran in the family. Emma is very dramatic, a source revealed, adding that the starlet can get wound up during arguments. Although Evan Peters hasn't admitted to any issues, Roberts has had her own past hiccups with her temper, both professionally and in her personal life. Fellow A-listers have supposedly spoken out about Emma's diva tendencies. A source confessed that her American Horror Story co-star, Gabourey Sidibe, butted heads with Roberts. Emma complains about the tiniest things and won't speak to crew members, the source revealed, adding, Gabby finally told Emma to cut her attitude and stop being rude. If that wasn't enough, rumors swirled that Roberts also had issues with her Scream Queens co-star, Leah Michelle, back in 2016. An insider revealed that the two starlets were always at each other's throats, adding that they even went as far as to ignore one another on set or call each other names. It sounds like the crew had to deal with quite a bit of drama themselves. It couldn't have been an easy work environment for any of them. Despite how much they loved each other and how hard they tried to make it work, by March of 2019, Emma and Evan called it quits, and this time, it was for good. Emma and Evan were heading for a split and now are just friends, a source revealed to Us Weekly. Evan has moved out. It wasn't a bad breakup. As for the exes speaking out about what happened, they've chosen to keep that information to themselves, and we can't blame them for that either. After having a relationship that was so consumed by the public, they wanted to keep whatever happened between them private. I think I know what's true, and I know what happened in my own life, and so do the people who love me and who I love," Emma shared. In an interview with Cosmopolitan following the official breakup, Roberts admitted how hard it is to live in the public eye and have fans pay so much attention to her personal life. It's hard enough to be with someone by yourself, let alone with an audience. Growing up is hard. Sometimes it makes me sad that I can't have a private moment. She added that social media didn't make it any easier, and people couldn't hold themselves back from sharing their opinions about the couple's relationship. It kind of reminds me of the internet culture right now of, you know, people kind of putting their whole life on YouTube or, you know, exposing things on Twitter. Even though no one knew what really was happening behind closed doors, the actress confessed that it was hard to read all the negative comments. So, on top of everything else they had to deal with as a couple, they were also confronted with some pretty invasive cyberbullying. Thankfully, since their breakup, both actors moved on to healthier relationships. Emma made it official with Garrett Hedlund shortly after her breakup with Peters, giving birth to their first child together at the end of 2020. Evan briefly dated singer Halsey, However, while that relationship didn't work out, he's been happily single since then. Relationships are hard work, and when you're young and in love, things can get a little complicated. Unfortunately, when your life is in the public eye, it makes everything that much harder. At least for Emma and Evan, while things didn't work out, they've both moved on, and we only wish happiness for them both in the coming future.